there. Uh, today I'm going to tie a little river bug. I'm using a Hanak 400 BLG in size 14. Now I'm not sure how well you'll see this, but it's a gold jig hook, uh, and I'm I've got it coupled with a tungsten bead, three and a half millimeters, uh, the disco ball slotted type. And I'm going to start with not a thread, but um, a hen body material. And this is the, if you're interested, the BQ-35, and it's an olive version, quite a nice shade of olive. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is just attach it near where the tungsten bead is, and I'm going to bring that up the shank of the hook before removing my waist. Next thing I'm going to do is, using the old favourite, called the Leon. I'm going to take a few fibres to create a tail. I'll just catch that in with a couple of turns. Just check the length, ideal. And I'll take that down a bit, locking it into place. Remove the excess. Uh, this fly, uh, I call it the, the Jock Sprat, but it was inspired by uh, a fly tied by Kieran Jenkins that I had spotted in one of the mags some time ago, and he'd used um, a material called Blobtail, which I've never managed to get my hands on, but this stuff does more or less the same job. Now I've got that in place, I can take my time and just build up a real nice body and as Kieran described it, it was a fly that he would use when the fish were becoming a little bit fussy uh, and that's probably because they've been pink shrimp to death the old grayling they don't mind it but eventually they get fed up so something a bit more subtle uh, is what's called for. So I built the body there and I'm just going to use a half hitch to finish it off and I'm going to change threads or I'm going to change to a thread should I say. Uh, this is the UTC it's fluorescent pink and it is the denier is 70. So I'll just attach that Now for grayling, I could just carry on and um, make a nice bulbous head here and then use a UV resin or varnish for that matter to coat it and that will be a, a very slim profile fly that will fall through the water column very quickly. Uh, the other thing I do, and I'm just, excuse my hand, I have, when I'm using slotted beads, I have the slot right at the top and I'll either cover that up with some dubbing or a fillet full of UV resin. Just lock that down again. Now for this fly I'm going to be using the uh, Davy Wooten SLF and the flavour I'm going to use the dark olive. You just need a little pinch here. I like this stuff. It's got it's got a little translucent quality to it. it it's quite shimmery. There's There's various different strands of hair in it as well. So if I dub that on and the thing with dubbing uh, as I'm sure you know is whatever you think you need you'll need half of that and you'll probably be on the mark. And it's much easier to add to dubbing than it is to try and unwind and take it off. So I've got my dubbing on there, I'm going to lick my thumb and forefinger and just pull everything back because what I want to create is the slightest colour just at the neck here and this will give me a little trigger point and I 
I've just used a half hitch to finish off and then I'm going to just use a little bit of head cement just to secure it like so Uh, with this fly then I've got a couple of trigger points because I'm using a gold hook uh, in the in the sunlight that can really bring fish on and I've got the little hint of pink just at the throat there again a trigger point for fish I hope that's uh, I've been of some use to you uh, thanks very much for watching